What's going on, everybody? It's time to take a look at the graphic novels of the week. I use chiefgraphicnovels.com to look at this, and I'm actually a comic book writer myself, so I'm going to have my links in the description below. If you want to check out my books, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for tuning in and checking out independent comic books. We live off of you, and I appreciate the fans that are reading. You're the best. All right, here is my book, Flying Sparks, pre-order, final volume right now, and that link is in the description below with everything. Now let's get to the graphic novels of the week other than Flying Sparks, which you should be buying first, I should say. If you like superhero graphic novels, this is definitely going to be something you'll like. Okay, we got 20 kilometers per hour <clears throat> as a trade paperback. I have no idea what that is. Uh, that cover does not speak to me. Batman by Grant Morrison, Omnibus Volume 1. This is a three-omnibus set, and this is a reprint of the um, uh, Grant Morrison stuff that we've seen before. Uh, it's, you know, uh, I have not read it, actually, but I do own it. <laughs> um, Black Adam, Volume 1, uh, Theogeny. This looks like a new Black Adam to kind of go with the movie. Kind of a little late on that. Blink trade paperback. Again, just like art that doesn't really look like it's uh, something I would like, so pass on that. Captain Marvel 2019, of course, still running Captain Marvel. At least they've given her, like, you know, longer hair again. I remember when they were giving her the butch haircut, uh, but something I'm definitely not interested in reading anyway. Centralia hardcover. This looks interesting. It's kind of looks like a Euro comic of some sort. Um, not sure about this. Let's, let's click on it and take a look. <clears throat> let's see. Publisher Living the Line. Not familiar with them. So something indie. Critical Role, The Mighty Nine Origins. Critical Role's been putting out graphic novels quite a bit uh, recently. Uh, not something I'm into again, but interesting. Dark One, Brandon Sanderson's Volume 1. Now, this is a fantasy thing I might be interested in checking out. Visions of a Dark and Fantastic World haunt Paul Tannison. When he discovers they are prophecies from Mirandus, a world which he's destined to become a fearsome destroyer, he'll have to embrace the fear, rise up as the Dark One, and shatter everything. Pretty cool. Uh, I might check that out. Destroyer Duck Graphite Edition. Here we go. Uh, Steve Gerber uh, was in a lawsuit against Marvel over the, <laughs> over the ownership of his uh, Howard the Duck. And so he made his own book. Oh, this is cool. Uh, I might grab this too. I like that idea quite a bit. Elephant Men 2261. That's been a while since I've heard about Elephant Men. I've never actually read it though. Tell me if that's good. <clears throat> Flash, the fastest man alive. I guess this is probably uh, something new for... The movie, not interested. Flawed Volume 1, not familiar with this. Hotel Rem, uh, Rembrandt Sumner is a happy-go-lucky owner of Hotel Rem. Looks cute. Incredible Hulk by Peter David Omnibus, Volume 5. This is, I believe, the end of his run with a beautiful cover by Dale Keown. Absolutely in for this, 100%. Iron Man Epic Collection, The Crossing. Uh, definitely will be picking this up also. Uh, this... Uh, Continues the Avengers Force Works. So they actually put out a Force Works trade paperback, and this actually finishes off Force Works. <laughs> so you can have the entire run of that. Believe it or not, I had the issues of those, like first few issues as a kid. And I remember not really understanding what was going on at the time. Uh, but I remember I really liked the cover. It was like a like fold out cover sort of deal. <clears throat> Common Writer Kuga, volume three. Probably popular stuff in Japan. Lunar Ladies trade paperback. Mech Cadets, book one. Hmm. Marvel Masterworks, Howard the Duck. Interesting that they're coming out with this at the same time they're doing the kind of litigation knockoff one. Hmm. Navi Navigator hardcover. I'm not sure what this is. Looks cool, though. This looks cool. Uh, Dark Horse Comics from John Bruno. Europa. Eh, this looks like a European comic. Might be interesting here. Whoops. I press buttons, guys. I'm a boomer. Rody trade paperback from Tim Seeley. So, could be cool. Uh, Rogue Sun, Hellbent, Volume 2. I'm not sure anything about that. Self, Trade Paperback. Spawn, Gunslinger, Spawn, Volume 2. They're doing all these Spawn variants. This is a weird one. I can't believe they're having the gall to do this. Spider-Man, One More Day, Gallery Edition. Now, this is the storyline that they forced J. Michael Straczynski to write, uh, where... <laughs> It's like Peter Parker made a deal with the devil to end his marriage. It was, uh, and now they're doing a big oversized gallery edition. Does anybody actually want this? I can't imagine anybody wanting to buy that. Gosh, the story that ruins Spider-Man. Speaking of ruining Spider-Man, Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man 2022 by Zeb Wells. I've heard it's gotten real bad. Uh, oh my gosh. 
Thor Omnibus Volume 4. We still got some nice Bushema art in this. So this is going to be a nice uh, thing for classic Thor. If you guys have not checked this out, it's good stuff. I've got it in Epic Collection. Tom, Tom Strong Compendium. I'm interested in this. Uh, now, Alan Moore uh, did this uh, sort of like imprint where he did top 10 Promethea and Tom Strong back in the day. And I missed on the Absolute editions and all, and all, and all the hardcover editions of these. Um, and the compendiums are like big soft cover formats where they collect everything. And I've been interested in reading these because it, allegedly it's like Tom, uh, it's um, Alan Moore trying to make up for what he did to superhero comics. Like, so he tries to like bring it back to campy, cheesy things, which are fun uh, back instead of his uh, like dark nihilistic crap, which uh, kind of ruined comics in my estimation. So very interested in this. I'd, I've always wanted to read Tom Strong, so I'd check it out. X-Men Past Meets Future, trade paperback. In continuity, tales set in X Men's past, Roy Thomas returns to bridge the gap between his sixties run and the team. Oh, I'd be interested in reading that. I like Roy Thomas. Uh, zero, year Zero, uh, Volume Zero, Trade Paperback. Okay, not sure what that is. Gosh, so I'm looking at my picks of the week, and you know, I there's some stuff I kind of like, but like, there's nothing I'm super passionate about this week. Um, I would have to probably say the Hulk uh, by Peter David with the uh, Dale Keown DM cover variant. Uh, which is probably at the end of the Peter David run. It is uh, probably the best thing this week in my estimation. I don't know. What are you guys going to get? Leave a comment down below. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.